city kid. We're in Brooklyn at 987 Productions, where they make the PBS Kids show Peg Plus Cat. Peg Plus Cat is all about making math fun for kids. Your lines are parallel. They go the same direction, but they'll never ever cross or touch or meet. So we're giving you an exclusive behind the scenes look at how it's made. From sketching to music, <laughs> and of course animation, we're sharing it all just for you. We're so excited to be here today. We're thrilled to have you here at 987 Productions where we make Peg Plus Cat. And now I have with me Jennifer Oxley who devised the system of animation that we use. It's really cool and original. Cool. And uh, so she's going to lead the tour. First up, design. You know what's really cool about this show? Everything is drawn by hand. So you draw them right here on this paper? Yep, yep. This is, this is um, the, the original painting. So this is Brett Paul, he's one of our animation directors, and he's going to walk you through one of our rigs for Peg Plus Cat. This is Cat. Yeah, so this is the Cat character. So you set up like a paper doll, where you can uh, click on elements of his body and just start pulling him around. So when it plays back, there's the movement. Now you just do that hundreds of more times, and you've got, you've got a TV show. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jane, um, and here I have some examples of uh, special moves that we often have to create so that we can reuse them and uh, make animating of an episode uh, go faster. <laughs> so we often uh, create these ahead of time so that um, when, whenever we have like a special dance or a special move, we can reuse it over and over. Um, so right here I have uh, when uh, Peg had to uh, dance flamenco in one of the episodes. <laughs> so we created this ahead of time, and then um, animators can then use it um, throughout the episode and reuse the dance. So as you know, we have loads of music on Peg Plus Cat, and we do a lot of it here at 987. We have our own recording studio, we record voices here, we also record voices in Canada, and all the music is done here in New York. You want to come in and check it out? Yes. Our Well, this is where we do all the sound for the show. So when we get the animation, you know, without the sound, basically, we'd be watching this. So that would be kind of boring, right? Yeah. It's cool to watch, but once you add all the sound, you know, it really makes a difference, brings it to life. Well, I can tell you my most favorite part about making the show is getting to work with people like this guy over here. <laughs> Super talented, creative, smart, funny, just nice people. Those are the folks that we have here at 987. So that's my, my favorite part about it. I would say the same thing for my favorite. It's working with people like Jennifer Ox <laughs> and everybody. I love the people. It's a great team. What do you do when you walk into the office? <coughs> What's your main job? Well, Jennifer and I are, are executive producers together, so we're in charge. So we have lots to do. Everything from uh, checking over shows that are nearly done to thinking of new shows that haven't even started yet. Usually all at the same time. So one day we work on dozens of epi different episodes. I particularly concentrate on writing, because that's what I'm most comfortable doing. And she particularly concentrates on everything else. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but usually the, the design and the animation, um, but me and Billy are a great team because, um, at least I think we're a great team. I would say so too, yeah. Because <laughs> uh, when we first came up with the show, it was it was great because he focused on the writing and we focused on the design and the look of the show and we both gave each other feedback on both of those yeah. things, so it was a real true collaboration. We talk over everything together, that's really fun. Like, I see like on everything, like the background is mostly like graph paper. That's a great question. Uh, when we set out to uh, figure out the look of the show, I really wanted it to look like math. And so I got out a bunch of things, my paint, my paper, and there happened to be graph paper there as well. 
and I thought, wow, what if I actually painted right on the graph paper and then put in equations that sort of suggested higher level math? I thought that that would be a great way to make you feel like you're sort of in this world that's all about math. So yeah. the trees are cool geometric shapes, oh. the infinity clouds. I'm, yeah. That's what I noticed when I was watching with my mom and my brother yesterday. Like I noticed that the clouds are infinity signs. Yeah, and I thought that was cool. Well, thank you for letting us see the place and meet your staff. It's really cool here. We really enjoyed having you. Yeah. You guys are cool. Thanks for all your great questions. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For more fun, visit TristanandTyler.com. And for more fun with Peck and Cat, go to PBSKids.org. See you later.